assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to our youtube channel please subscribe our youtube channel by clicking the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos notification friends in this video we will learn about climatic conditions in the south asian region so let's start the video this video is starting from the introduction of south asia this is a, a previous in previous lecture we are also discussed the introduction of south asia if you want to watch this video please click on the link above so south asia is a southern part of continent asia it is also known as indian continent there are eight countries in this region it is surrounded by clockwise west asia central asia eastern asia southern east asia and the indian ocean major countries in this part of world are as follow afghanistan bangladesh bhutan india maldives nepal pakistan and sri lanka as well friends before starting the climatic condition of this south asia here i am distinguish the climate and weather the dif main difference between the climate and weather so weather is not same as climate weather can change in a short period of time one day it can be dry and sunny and the next day it may rain it might rain for hour and then stop climate is usual weather pattern for a place through the year certain conditions of atmosphere define the weather of a space including temperature rainfall air pressure and wind also there are five main factors which are affecting the climate of a place or a particular area Uh, these are the distance from equator of area height of the land size of the land mass distance from the sea level warm and cold currents of the oceans the main topic the climate of the south asia the climate of south asia can be divided into three basic kinds these are the tropical dry and temperate the north east is from the tropical to subtropical it is also called the temperature temperate zones moving west to moisture and elevation change causing a steppe and desert climate that is like middle east there is also part of steppe climate in the center of the lowest peninsula two parts of the south asia climate especially affect the people one is like the monsoon these changes winds brings lot of the areas rain so when they do not do not come early the land becomes very dry hurricanes also happen every year and sometimes destroy many things in the extreme north of india and pakistan the climate is affected by the countries by the mountains there is a mild climate near a indus river where farmers grow crops like rice and tea climate of south asia can be classified on the basis of the koppen climate classification map is based on native vegetation temperature and precipitation and their seasonality here is a classification which is given by the koppen climate here the af is used for the tropical rainforest am is for the tropical monsoon aw tropical savanna and wet and dry w bwh is for the hot desert bwk cold desert bsh hot semi arid climate bsk cold semi arid csa mediterranean dry hot summer CWA tropical humid summer dry winter CWB is also dry winter which is a subtropical highlands CFA tropical humid summer this is not dry this map is also showing the these are the koppen climate you can see this is very colorful map In South Asia the monsoon season runs from the June through the September monsoon 
always below from cold to warm areas the summer and winter monsoons determine the climate for most of the india and south asia the summer monsoon is associated with the heavy rain as winter ends warm moisture air from the southwest india or indian ocean heats towards south asia the summer monsoon bring humidity to torrential rainfall this map is showing those countries which are impacted during the monsoon seasons the key points of this map is also shown below the annual south asia monsoon season runs from the june to september india bangladesh pakistan sri lanka myanmar and nepal are all impacted by the torrential rainfall which occurs in the monsoon season more than 1200 people were killed and 4 million impacted during the 2017 monsoon this report is showing the number of people which are killed in the monsoon and 4 40 million impacted during the 2017 this is also showing the koppen climate map of the south asia here i am describing the challenges for south asia which is facing by the asian south asian countries temperature rise average annual temperatures could rise by more than 2 centigrade over land in most of the south asia by the mid 21st century and exceed 3 centigrade under the high emission scenario rainfall trends by mid 21st century southern asia of south will experience more rainfall rainfall will be more extreme near the centuries of tropical cyclone making landfall in south asia sea level rise magnitude of sea level rise by the centuries and implies increased risk for south asian countries coastal settlements particularly if combined with the change in cyclone frequency or intensity the coastal system sea level rise will lead to submergence coastal flooding and erosion climate change will be caused declines in agriculture productivity in many sub regions of south asia for crops such as rice and wheat this could lead to higher food rice prices a living cost malnutrition and worsened rural poverty marine system higher latitude will see more biodiversity while marine population will decline in tropical latitude flood damage risk of floods poses and threats in, in infrastructure livelihood and settlement heat related multi in other major challenges friends thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe our youtube channel thank you so much